Welcome back to the Dust Bowl. We're getting out here to meet fish people. Alrighty. We've done everything we possibly can, so a hi ho epo away. Jesus Christ. Starting strong today. There are the cuckoos, but I'm gonna have a lot of rupees, so fuck it. I can do something up top, so I'll do that later. Over here, and off to the field proper. Now we don't have to deal with King Boblin and his boys. Alrighty. This way. Man. Oh, there we go. So, this is the spot where, in the old games, you could have done kill the postman. But, judging from where he's met me and where the trigger was, I think they must have moved it um, further towards the... Uh, Further towards the entrance. Because it used to be, he'd run over the, um... He'd run towards the cliff face, kind of near where you can see the A-prompt. And if you were hanging off the side, you went over the trigger, and he'd just kind of fall. And the game would slow the fuck down. Either that or, you know, the, the uh, video did that for comical effect. I assume it was the, the weed trying to process what the fuck just happened. You spoke normally, though. Um, it just took a while for the for the for the, for the text to come up. <laughs> All right, so I believe that's going to be the letter, which I might as well check now. That'll imply oh fish vindicated. <laughs> I catching that damn thing. Shit, uh, letters. Uh, I've got to do the amiibos later. I should try them. Okay. Yep. So it's just about, yeah, I know it's for bomb arrows. Red? It's red. Nice. But yeah, I'll stop going on about the glitch now, but it used to be there. Now, before the postman interrupted me, oh, yeah, you can do stuff up there too, but claw shots required, really. Let's just have a wander around. I was going to say, like, I'm, I'm, co I'm becoming very conscious of the swearing at the start of episodes and all that, but really... There should be a counter for for all the times I say alrighty. I think that's more concerning. So I'm slowing down because I have to look at the gamepad to equip the bow. Come on, there we go. Alright, all we we are gonna do is for our convenience later. I'm gonna wander over this way. Oh that's the portal over the hill. I was wondering what the hell that black stuff. Um the that little yeah, I don't know how to describe it. A little black flickering effect is. But, yep. Yeah, just that. Alright. I can't be fucked getting off the horse. No rupees? Huh. Thought there was. Maybe... No, it must be a different rock. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. There's some rocks to bomb, so let's just go this way. I could probably try to snipe that from here, but yeah. We'll see what there is. Okay. Um, we will come back here much later with an item called the Dominion Rod. No use for that right now. Uh, repeating textures. Nice. Uh, it's a GameCube slash Wii game, so who gives a shit? Reminds me of um, when I used to give my brother's trains game a shot. Like, I'm not really a train person, but uh, hey. Fuck you. <laughs> Worth it. Assert dominance on these birds. Hold on. Damn it. Alright, hold on, hold on. Gotcha. Uh. Take that shit, Lord. Hey, there is that cave to bomb, too. Hey, shit. They're not quite bomb arrows from, uh. Well, you know. From Breath of the Wild, but still. Ah, there we go. Rupees I do not need. Let's be bored. Let's be a uh, lady. I was going to say bored. I don't know why. Nothing over there. Um, not that. I mean, on the cliff face. Look. That doesn't quite look up to standard compared to the rest of the game, though. <laughs> i got to be real. Still, looks much better than some parts of Dark Souls 2. Which I hate to say, but yeah, kind of true. 
Man, I'm just thinking about it, and um, I don't think the trees in in um, Skyward Sword are that far off this level of like, um, well, you know, texture work. It's just the the art style definitely makes them look better than these. But for all the time, who gives this stuff? In a game like this, whatever. Now I'm gonna have to come back here later because there is a Poe from memory, but you know. Alright, I don't think I'm really going to be needing... Yeah, we'll do this. Oh. And we'll do this. I won't need too much. Lance all we've got to keep that in mind. Deku Baba that way. I probably muted that, but yeah, big sneeze. Apologies. I'm running low on arrows, so I should be a little more conservative. But I appear to have chosen the correct way. How foolish of me. Alright, we're gonna run... Whoa. What's that? Can we see for a wall? Ah, uh, camera's not gonna let me. We'll, um... We'll have to double back through Kakariko, I guess. To get some more arrows. I need to waste rupees in the way. I've got a bottle full of, um... Full of water anyway. I can turn that into... Ah, uh, the, uh... The red goodness. Alright. I just happen to be going the right way. That's the annoying part. You know what? Not worth it. Not worth wasting arrows on these guys. Use this. Oh. Hey. Hey, fucker. Come back. You know Piranha Plant and Smash Bros. That's for sure. Okay. He doesn't want to play. It's not Nero. It's not which one wants to play. I, I did that in a really shitty way, so I apologize. All the taunts into him see if I so fucking good. So that's when a shield bash is useful. I'm pretty sure that just opens him up for a nice big stab. But could be mistaken. Oh, yep, definitely uh, going back for a payday. Or going back to give Mallow a payday. Okay. So it is annoying that I'll have to come back here later, but... Yeah, whatever. Yep, there's a Poe, right ahead. So, I don't know, like, I'll have to, when I'm wolf link for the next section, I'll have to come back. So it's a floating lantern. Thankfully, it doesn't aggro like a Dark Souls enemy. <laughs> or we would have a problem. Okay, fuck you, sure it did. Wow, this is still a combat. That's just, I shouldn't have done, I, yeah, should have been a lot quicker there. That was, that was, to quote Wesker, poor, wow, that's indicative of the quality. Poor performance indeed. I'd, um, I'd try to impersonate DC Douglas like I have before, but, well, I'm not up to the same standard as that god of a voice actor. We're gonna aggro up for just to, uh, yep, do that. Finish it off. Maybe should have left it. That, um, yeah, leaving it might have actually been the right call, because that way it would have been easier to figure out that's the way to go. Let's pop you away, don't really need this. Tech tights were this way. Tech tights, whatever. Rats. Royal Rad Vanguard over here. Oh, arrows, nice. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on, get serious. Oh my god, I'm completely missing. Holy shit. Fuck this. These are crazy even Half-Life 2 physics. Like when you get a combine trooper st stuck in the door. That's one of the dumbest things in the game. It only really happened to me once, but um... And yeah, I'm referring to an even older game than this. But... When I was playing Half-Life 2, one of the many times I have... Oh, there we go. We can see through the world. Beautiful. Up, oh, game's... Up. Oh, it led us anyway. The game was trying to stop us. Um, in the lighthouse section of um, Half-Life 2, which is um, the 8th chapter, because it's after Highway um, 17. Or whatever. It is Highway 17, right? That is the name. I'm not getting that mixed up. Ah, oh, well, fuck it. Whatever. Um... During that section, we... Oh! 
Perfect. Just what I needed. First time we meet a two. Want to make it with two. That's what I've named my Pikachu several times. Because I like my musical references. Not because I want to make it with, with a Pikachu. That's getting... I mean, it's one of my favorite Pokemon, but that's getting a little, you know. A little something. I ain't gonna judge, but, um... No. I'll put it that way. Gotcha. Ah, nice. Ah, yes, VO stamp. The most noble of all letters. Yep. I'm in top form today. That's what I get for playing Dark Souls 3 Cinders last night. <laughs> you know, I really should get back to the Astral Chain game. It's almost like I'm putting it off. Because <laughs> it's actual fucking work. Not because I'm sick of the game. Do need the occasional break, however. Alright, that's just about everything we can do. I don't believe there's any, um... Don't believe there's any rocks to bomb in the South Hyrule Field. I think there's one, perhaps, but it's not worth it at this point. Anyway. You know, we're, um... Like, what, 12 minutes in, just about? And we haven't even progressed. So, yeah, that's a good sign. That's a sign of quality. Hey, Link, buy something. Idiot. Um, yep, okay, full. And we have barely made a dent. That's the first... Wait. No, no, that's not, I was going to say that's the first time, but automatically realize, no, it's not. But I think it's the first time we've done it in a shop, but even then, I'm pretty sure it just happens. Meaning the shop, um, run by the bird, I forget its name, is different, but whatever. Anyway, man, that's stuff I should have done last episode, but I wanted to kind of just get it done. Wanted to have a shortish one. This one, I'm probably... I don't even know, like, perhaps... Perhaps when I've uploaded this, I've already split, like... The, the intro of the game into two parts. Um, I know temples that I'm just gonna have as one episode, because who gives a shit? Um, but yeah. I should have stocked up on bombs. Just to waste money, but fuck it. Alright. There's nothing much to do here. Oh. There is something to do here. Go away, leavers. Leavers, fuck off. Oh my god. Bird. No. Hold on. Oh my god. How dare. Such, such contempt for mortal man. Alright, let's see. Alright. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, come on. Come on. Should just use the fucking boomerang. You fuck off. That is not what I wanted. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, come on. Come on. The thing I should have just done from the start. Quality content, as always. Now, there's a few more bugs around here. But I'm just going to kind of just ride around the field. I'm kind of just kind of going to do the thing I kind of just said. Kind of. Yep, sorry, that was entirely by accident. Now, from memory, opponent won't go off the side, but I'm not going to test that. That tree line not holding up. Or is that one? But that looks a little better because it's much further away. Let's do it. 
Like, for the time, I know this game was... Like, I'm not going to say it was a real looker or anything, because... Even then, like, textures were pretty muddy and all that. Now, there's one here, right? There's a bug here. And this is the critical path. Hi, horse bug. Ah, oh, there we go. Had to pop in. Come here. You a mantis? I forget. You are... No way you... Yeah. Phasmin. I guess that's the uh, proper name of a stick insect. Alright. There's a dick spot there. Those are like the little Ocarina of Time style caves. Um, you can go into when you are Wolf Link. As we are not, we cannot. Now, I remember there was a cave I found over here when I was much, much younger. Bug, by the way. Um, that I found that wasn't in the guidebook. And it's something I've been meaning to do for years, but I always forget to do it. And that's, uh, let's just look up where all the, um, all the dig spots actually are. Because I never end up doing it. Never ever. I'm just going to sit here and do this. How can you defeat this technique? I mean, that's how. That's entirely by accident, but stylish as hell. We will now... Oh my fucking god. We will now carefully approach the bug. How to approach a bug that has crouching that's crouching in the corner that has a flash kick and a fireball. Is that the article? Oh, it's about a girl instead of a bug, but Oh my fucking god. Time to make the same mistakes. Sins of a father. Alright. Now if the leavers can fuck off for a I'm just gonna take the hit. Oh my god. If this is really boring, I'm just gonna cut it in editing. If you're sitting through the whole thing, I'm sorry, but it's because I decided there was some artistic value in it. A grasshopper well earned. Now let's get the hell out of here. Like David Bowie, no doubt, uh, fled Quantic Dream after recording his line for Omicron. Oh yes, we got to know the characters rather intimately. Uh, produced music for the game, it was very, uh, very before, before its time, yes. Man, Bowie, I love you, but you got suckered in by fucking, by those French, um, actually, no. No, I'm not going to blame the whole company. They're very talented people. It just, uh... It just happens to be they've got Cage at the helm. And it was their first game, so yeah, no one knew. You know, it was before its time, and we should really thank Omicron for, you know, you know... Being a real trailblazer. Oh, and what I was going to say was not racist, I swear. But I realized how it was inevitably going to sound, so I went, you know what, maybe not. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, those French artours is what I was probably going to say. Admittedly, I didn't really think past that. Can we even get this, bud? How do you walk again when you do this? Yeah. Can we even get it? Oh, yes we can, actually. This isn't the snail, is it? No, it's, um... It's the other Phasmid. Yeah, Captain Phasma's a character you can really relate to. Such an awesome character. In a film, or films I have not watched, not out of protest, just because I can't be bothered. <sighs> I just wanted to shit on Star Wars, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but, yeah. Alright, so, I kind of forgot about this, but yes, you actually do have to, um, that's going to miss. No, no, yep, you need bombs to progress. That's going to miss. Back up, horse. Explosive. Now that we do that, that thing happens. You know, in Smash Bros. Except instead of getting destroyed, it, uh, you know, gets grabbed. 
It got got. We'll, uh, we'll complete the stage transition in a few episodes. Just thinking, because this, this is the fifth session. Um, six for the water temple. Um, I'd say seven, but it's probably going to be eight, admittedly. There's stuff to do before I even go to the desert. But, yeah. Yep. Oh, lord, they're coming. No, is there two? Or is there three? There are three. That seems about right. Now, these guys are bastards if you let them hit, hit you too much. Oh, yeah. Glitch time. So, I remember back in the Wii version, this never happened to me because I never thought of doing it. But if you saved at this point in the original base game, which is the copy I own... Um, you'd be stuck on the other side of the bridge. And that's that. You can't progress. So your file is locked. As you saw, it's only taken me, what, how long? Might as well save while we're at it. Ah, uh, no, I'll hold it just in case. Six and a half hours, and that's not going super fast. That's enjoying the game. Oh, oh fuck. It's about as much time as I put into a Dark Souls character. It's about the amount of time it takes to get to, uh... Yeah, normally at this point, if I'm playing 3, I'm at Lothric Castle. Um, as in, round 2 Lothric Castle. After I killed the dancer to make a ladder come down. Which is just as dumb as the rocks in 2. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, you get the fucking Lucerne outside the door. Why can't I just use my halberd? to reach to the fucking get the ladder and pull it down because Emma's gonna fucking stop me <laughs> uh, anyway that's enough shitting on Dark Souls 3 lands of the lords are converging after all so you know I can't fault the game design <laughs> um so opponent notably does not like this that's fairly reasonable I forgot to mention you can totally talk to opponent like um when you're in wolf form there just hasn't been a time to do it nor will there be a time to do it, I believe. Because I know Link and Midna have got to do this, but I don't know if Link's considered the implications of... Um, going in here means opponent's stuck here alone. With no way of continuing unless it walks into the twilight. <laughs> so, if he doesn't come back, well, shit's fucked. Also, I meant to say, it's so bloody dark, we're in the fucking abyss, aren't we? Four kings are about to show up. I know four kings are kind of a contentious boss. I think they're thematically cool, but yeah, sometimes the DPS race is a little bullshit. Some builds, doesn't really fucking matter, but um... Just get your plus 15 pyro flame. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're running a twink build. Oh. oh. That's that's right. That was the funniest thing when Dark Souls Remastered come, came out. And I'm going to stop talking about Dark Souls for the most part. I apologize. Also, I've got to do this with four hearts for the most part. Yay. Um, when Remastered came out and people were like, Why the fuck can't I invade in the burg with my plus 15? What do you... What, no, but I, I stayed level 10. Why can't I invade new people? And then they figured out the weapon matchmaking from DS3 made it in. Oh, then people had to figure out how to beat the four kings with, like, plus zero weapons. Ah, uh, I mean, it worked. It really did fucking work. It stopped, twi it stopped twinking in some capacity, so... Anyway, we've got the Centerville here. It's not creepy at all. Wait, this is... Yeah. Wait, yep. The game turned... No. The game did not turn me flipped upside down. I will not take a minute. I will not sit right there. Um, Bel Air. Yeah. I, I haven't got much to add, to be quite honest. But yeah. God, play a Zelda game and 20% of his... 20% of my fucking commentary is, Hey, Dark Souls! With occasional Bloodborne. 
I don't think I've... No, I haven't talked about Bloodborne outside of... Hey, remember the Bloodborne LP? I haven't actually talked about it mechanically, I believe. Could be super wrong. Probably am. Alright, so there's nothing much going on in this field. There's you, so we're going to ignore you. Oh. A new challenger is approaching. Get out. We'll go this way. I don't think there's anything to do down there. There's Baldwin's up here. There's um, places we can bomb later on. Yeah, because I believe that's a... Yeah. Hey, right, this is Zora's domain up here. The entrance to. Uh, well, it leads to Zora's domain. It's the river part first. But yeah. Get out. I'm not bothering. And down here, where you can bomb the wall, is a puzzle. Well, I'm not going to go the whole way. But down there, if there's a little cave. You could probably see it. I could. If you're looking for it, you'll know what I mean. Um, there's a cave where if you bomb, there's a puzzle to do later on with the ball and chain. Incredibly underutilized. And a weapon that deserves more fanfare than a god. And over here, if you can make out those um, little uh, those lines in the wall, that's for, that is for the spinner. And there is a piece of heart up here. Up there. Blech. Yeah. Dig spot. There's a dig spot here later. Can't do anything now, though. Yeah, I'm kind of just running through because there's nothing to really worry about. We might as well... Just might as well keep going. Um, there's no rock there to howl into. There's nothing to really do, so... Yeah. Yeah. I, this is weird because majority of my commentary is just actually talking about the game. <laughs> As opposed to crapping on about d other shit. So that's one way we can go. Which we never inevitably have to, I believe. Alright, there's this little area over here, but there's nothing to really do, so. Nice lavender, I guess. I assume it's lavender. Probably wrong. Probably the wrong kind of uh, plant. Probably just some stock plant model. Um, we'll pop it. We'll pop in here for a sec to have a look. We do have to get to the lake, however. So this is, I guess, this is wasting time. But I believe we have to. We've got to come back here in some capacity. Sorry if you're hearing. Um, if you're hearing random like cuts, it's because I'm. Having to blow my nose, so apology. <laughs> Just random cuts of no sound. I mean, it's probably a little less obvious because, um, well, it's the Wii U and not the Switch. Oh, sorry, um, no. What I'm saying, the Switch is fine. It's not the PS4. The Switch is actually pretty loud, though. So, yeah, we have to do this anyway. Follow the scent of Ilya. So yeah, we find out she went to doctors. Oh. Hey, look at this environmental storytelling, kinda. What does this alleyway hold? Can I go into the void? What's up, dude? Ha, huh, I'm so bored. Can I, can I pick up the bone? No? Oh, yes. Come on. Arr. Notice the floating bone, fuckers. Up, up. Now we're going to round the corner. And we're heading towards Telma's bar, but first of all, in here. Cats. Mm-hmm. So, later on, we can dig here. And that takes us into Giovanni's house. And he gives us the ability to hunt down the pose proper. So I'm just kind of skipping everyone, but like, it's nothing really. It's just, boy, time sure are hard. Yep, selling hot water. Thought it might, he might be being depressed, but we're not quite at that part yet. Can we get them early? Yeah. 
We cannot collect them yet, though. So that's why I should have gone to the lake. Thomas Bar. Okay. Literally. There we go. Oh, hey, look. Postman is not, not in the corner. That's a lot of grog. Hey, yo, what's happening? Clipping? Nice. Man, I love it when my... When my pants clip in, uh, you know, for my shirt. Fuck. God damn it, I screwed it up. So that's Azora. So bad stuff's going on. Aw, oh, what an emotional reunion. A girl and a wolf. Shut up, Minda. So yeah, Ilya's here, Telma's here. The guards are trying to be brave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love these guards. They're so inept. That's gonna come to a head quite soon, actually. I've received orders from above to investigate why we, why we can't go to the Spirit Spring. Got that? So, you know. That's that's the one annoying part, that you can't collect the... Uh, for tears beforehand, but yeah, it makes sense. Would be nice if they just... It's good they don't despawn, because that would be game-breaking. Oh, nice. Would be cool if Minda could just hold on to him. And there was like a little thing saying, Oh yeah, I'll hold on to it for now. We gotta, we've got to go for uh, at least one more loading screen, so... Better than walking through the town center. That's two loading screens. We will go here later. Where's the dickhead hangs out? <laughs> yep. That feels like that's a bug. But, uh... Huh. <laughs> that looked really fucking weird. I don't think anyone's supposed to exit that area yet. See ya, nerds. Serpentine. Serpentine. Whatever. Fuck. Can't hit this. Can't wait till this is filled with helmet sauce and we can climb that with a claw shot. Yay, to the lake. Just occurred to me, I hope the mic's not picking up the heater. That would be annoying. I'm not seeing... actually... I, sorry, doing a live fucking test here. If I turn my sound right up... No. That should be good. I think it's just game audio. I hope. I'm gonna be very pissed off. Oh, there's a sign here, by the way. We will be doing that later. Jesus Christ, that art is... terrifying to say the least. Yeah, Cuckoo. It's good stuff. There's some more stuff here. Oh. Yep. Yes, what? I understand, game. I understand. Cross a, you know, walk across this bridge. It's a miracle of ar you know, architecture, but that's even... I'm fucking my words up so hard. It's a miracle of architecture, but that's even still standing. I mean, I don't have a degree in engineering, of course. I'm a fucking teacher. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if that should be standing up, but I'm sure if anyone is actually watching this, in any of those people happen to have a degree, I'm sure they can uh, refute that. I'm sure I'm wrong. Yeah, that's later on for the Dominion Rod. But, yeah, I think we can claw shot up there. We can claw shot up there, but there's not really any point. Rock the bomb. And that's that little amphitheater area I didn't go to quite yet. But I shall. Alright, time for the dragon to uh, roast me. No? The claymore's just there, can I just grab it? That'd be nice. Whoa, look at him with his uh, Ruby Season 1 tier animation. 
I was gonna say back in the fucking, um, no item box run of RE3, my second playthrough that I recorded, um, that I'd subjected myself to the first three volumes of Ruby again. Just to see, like, after watching some of the other stuff. Oh, by the way, this is what you meant to do. And yes, I'm talking about subpar anime while I, uh, jump off a bridge. You can wait, but you die. I'm pretty sure the fire will just knock me off if I stay here. I really don't want to get hurt. How? Oh, woo, woo, woo. Richard Nixon off the bridge. Um, but yeah, no, I, sub I subjected myself to that. Because one of my friends, like, would have been close to five years ago, suggested I give it a watch. I was like, yeah, okay. And so I did. And I was like, yeah, this is fine. Wasn't actually bad. But at the same time, like, I recognize half of that's probably because I wasn't watching it on a weekly basis. Or whenever, you know, how it, um, however it was released. But still. Um, that was about a month ago, I believe, so I'm not subjecting myself to a 4, 5, 6, and 7 yet. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, um, night and day in terms of, well, there's no point in me fucking doing this, I'm not getting hearts. There's a big difference in terms of, um, enjoyability, I'll phrase it that way. I mean, even with the shitty animations and, like, it's still subpar dialogue, like, I don't care. It's almost like I actually feel for the fucking characters. <laughs> Plus, I still like their early designs much better. I don't know what the fuck they did with Best Girl Weiss's hair. But, yeah. It was, it was either Judgmental Critter or Twins Inc. It was one of, one of the two who had in a video about, like... I'm pretty sure it's Critter, where they were saying about, um... Yeah, she just kind of got all that hair out of nowhere. Just changed outfit, Rapunzeled up. Yep. Anyway, that's enough of that. One piece of check you to Ruby Torf. Man, Grim Eclipse sucked. It was just incredibly subpar. Given it was a fan game, I can't judge it. Given it was then published by the owners of said franchise, well, fuck off. Sounds like they got screwed, the devs, but I don't know. Boy, can't wait till the day I suddenly become a rooster teeth shill. That's never fucking happening. I watch one show of yours. I'll endure Castle Super B stuff every once in a while for the boys. Come on. Look at my sick flips. He comes in. We get to run this bird later. It's pretty cool, actually. You just gotta knock this dickhead off. You yeah, know, it's probably better just running around. We can dodge. Oh. Look at my doggy dodge. Fuck. Come in, grab. Full screen. Chain dogger. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. It just... Yeah. Just too... Oh, thank Christ. I had a fairy. I was saving that, though. Oh yeah, he can do out the arrows, I totally forgot. I, I was kind of hoping on keeping the theory just for bragging rights, but there'll be more than enough. I can even double back to a previous temple to get one. One hit off. And now revenge. It's like, it's like the fucking hunter chopper at the start of Half-Life 2. Payback, fucker. But yeah. Bird. Cock all. Hong Kong. I already said this, but like the ones in Xenoblade X. Can that get a Wii U port or a sequel or uh, sorry, a Switch port? <laughs> yeah, port a Wii U game to the Wii U, the thing I'm playing right now. But yeah, no, a Switch port of that or a sequel. Like in my dreams, like in my wildest dreams, they port it. And bundle it, and give you a, you know, give you an optional bundle to, with, um, well, a sequel. I'd play the shit out of that, because I really liked it. X, or Z, what am I saying? Yeah, I love Xenoblade X quite a bit, actually. I've never played Xenoblade 
one or two, as I've said. I'm pretty sure I said this. Yeah, no, I've said this in this LP, I'm positive. Um, but X was fun. A lot of fun. I've never really been an MMO person, so playing a single-player version was actually really, really fun. I never did any... Did I? No, I never helped out with the bosses, though. The, um, the raid bosses. That was, uh, I was far too weak. I spent too much time exploring than actually completing the story. But yeah, no. I was looking into, um, what is it? Which Final Fantasy is it? Is it 9? Yeah, no, it's, it's 9, right? Um, that's kind of like a single player MMO. Because I was interested in, um, you know, just seeing if it was worth it. Which, whichever one's Zodiac Ages, I'm not an FF person. Is it 11? Uh, I can't fucking remember. I'm not an FF person, like I just said. But, you know, I was looking into Zodiac Age. Because that would be my kind of kind of fantasy, I think. I bought 15 for 30 bucks when I was waiting for Bloodborne to, get, um, to arrive. And I played a few hours. That's pretty cool, I guess. But I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, so I'm not the best judgment of, uh... I'm not the best person to judge quality of said game. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I'd say I'm not really an RPG person, but I've... Uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions just arrived yesterday, and I'm waiting on, uh, Persona 5 Royale. But, um... I, I definitely became apparent with Dark Souls, um, that I seem to like action RPGs far more. I mean, Deus Ex Human Revolution is really fucking good. Hell, I've got, I've got a fucking Wii U copy coming just so I've got it console, on, on console. All the way from the UK. It was a bit pricey, but like at the same time, it was the most reasonable it could have been. But yeah. Haven't played Mankind Divided. Apparently it's good, but not as good as Human Revolution. If the gameplay is good, I wouldn't re really mind. But... I mean, I like story. But if the gameplay could be really sick, I can forgive a subpar story. I just don't know how to feel playing it on console. Because I'm not... Yeah, does that still have that fucking weird DRM shit? It was... Was it Denuvo? I think it was before that. I bet you didn't think I'd be talking about Deus Ex in this. <laughs> I've got the original on Steam, I just haven't played it. I really should, but, well, you know. It's old, and I didn't grow up with it, so it's a... So, you know, I'd have to get really used to it. I think I tried it once, um, running on my laptop. It ran totally fun, of course. It's a fucking ancient game. But, um, yeah, I can't remember. Mankind Divided had that weird DRM bullshit that was borderline spyware. I think they... Did they try it with Hitman? A franchise I've also never touched, but would be pretty cool. But yeah, DRM. Given the Doom shit has really come to a head right now, and I believe they're removing it, I think I heard. Um, yeah, DRM's not really good. I mean, people are going to pirate. Unfortunately. Sometimes it's totally warranted. Ow. Like in this case. But, you know. I'd, ra I'd rather support um, the devs. But at the same time. It's kind of like pirating music where it's like... I understand. But, you know. A lot of the time when I've pirated music in the past when I was... Well, I mean, when my friend has pirated music. Oh yeah, and this place is where you slip, as you saw. That's the one jump in the game I know of that's definitely dodgy. Yep. Both. Two of them. Um, but like if more money went to the artists, like it should in my opinion, I'd feel a lot worse. So it's kind of like when I'm listening to a band for the first time, you know, listen to them on YouTube or whatever, find a few MP3s that, um, a friend downloaded, not me, um, you know, it's, it's a nice little test run, and quite often I'll end up buying the albums anyway, I like my physical collection. <laughs> We've got, like, a couple of hundred between my brothers and myself, so... Yeah. 
I like, I like, I like paying for music. I just wish more went to the people that actually fucking wrote it. Would be nice. But hey. But anyway, yeah, Deus Ex. Would try Mankind Divided, but I don't know if uh, DRM shit ha was ever fixed. Would be tempted in getting that $10 PS4 copy I keep saying, seeing on Oz Game Shop. The first day edition, but yeah. Anyway, I should shut up because emotional moment. <laughs> Hey, look at all these auras. Excuse me a moment while I reach down to grab my water. <laughs> I'm gonna drink in sympathy. I think that picked up. I'm gonna have to mute that. Um, yeah, those are the Zoras. Hey, Zoras, isn't water delicious? Let me just drink it while you're frozen in ice. Mmm. As far as Australian water goes, Melbourne's pretty good. Well, as long as it's not fucking Sydney water, holy shit. That, that stuff's bloody awful. The one time I went up there on like a big scout, um, big scout jamboree and... Ugh. Oh, that water was fucking terrible. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I running away? I should just go do the thing. Let's just see. Yep. I remember that came up. I just wanted to uh, get it on camera. On, yeah. On recording, I should say. Oh, fuck's sake. Why is my phone flashing now? Is it... Oh, whoops. That was my sharpener. Oh, pay slip. Nice. Thank you, guys. I'll, uh, look at that later. Okay, yes. We have found the hot, steaming, molten slab. I'm sure Brick would be proud. Something along the lines of hay slab. Go, Minna, go! Wrench it from the very earth it was born from. Uh, Death, uh, the lava on Death Mountain's a little low res. In it. There really should be a bigger hole in the ground than not at all, but. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. I believe we go wash the fuck away. Yeah, it's in it. I think it's we land in the water and we just get taken. Either that or we wake up and we just downstream. <laughs> I can't remember which. Okay, no, no, good, good. It's if we want to drop into the water, we're going to get taken downstream. Oh yeah, and there's torches to light. Too bad I can't right now. Yep. It, there's a big theme of this throughout the game. Get objects slotted into different portal. What's up, dude? Yep. 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 I think I think we're good. I'll talk to him. Yeah, I, I think we're good. I think we got all we're gonna get out of him. Yep, there's you. Hey, fucker. No, not you. The bug. Where? Hey, shitlord, come back. Oh, going for a swoop. There we go. Let's wait until we found the trigger. Do you like spooky ghosts? This is a really good design though. I'm not really sure what the consensus is on the best, well, friendly Zora design, but um... I'm a big fan of uh, the, the Queen here. Yeah, we're, no, I think we're all the Zoras in um, Ocarina Blue. I'm pretty sure they were. Don't know about Majora's, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. I know they. There was a whole punk band, or well, rock band, whatever the hell it was, <laughs> which is pretty handy. The power to swim, basically. That's what we're gonna get. 
If only we could grab that now. If only. But yeah. I know they got a little more outlandish with the Zora designs as time went on. But yeah. Basic, basically, what I'm trying to get at it, um, <laughs> fucking come on. What I'm trying to get at is, was she prefer Zora with like a primarily red color scheme? It's a super boring point, I know, but I'd be interested to know because it feels that way. Buck, come on. Well, yeah, no, that's the problem. There's no way to avoid the current, <laughs> even though we always did. <laughs> Nice. Good good job. Good job. Uh, job for one. Ah, oh, well. At least fire's gonna be happy. Oh, how convenient. But we end up back here. Ah, oh, shut up. Could have resuscitated me or something. I don't think you're a trained lifeguard. But then again, we're not we're not at the beach. It's not a bathtub either, though. Hey, we can finally do the thing. Oh, and later on, when when we are human, we can dive around here, and we can fish. Yeah. There's some rocks to bomb when we get the water bombs, which we get relatively soon. There are some chests as well, so that's handy. And there's that whole claw shot area up back. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Wait, we can get there, right? Sorry, let me just investigate. Yes. I will actually, how we can just. No, no, I'm pretty sure we need claw shot. We can't reach that. I'd make a joke about Link's baby arms, but the fact that he could even do half of what he does in this game means he's much, much fucking stronger than I am. Oh yeah, Buck, let's go. But yeah, no, I don't think I could put, you know, pull myself out of the water on vines. Probably wouldn't work out too well for me. Don't quite have that level of upper body strength. Alrighty, let's go. Where you at? Where you at? You try to climb the vine wall and he just uh, breaks and tears. You gotta treat your vines with care. Don't know what the hell that voice was, but... Alright, yeah, this one's trying to troll you. You go do this. Then you gotta lure these two together. Come on, chuckle Fox. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Aggro. Stay aggroed. There we go. Like I said a while back, sometimes Link can miss. That is a rock up there, by the way. A howling rock. We can't do that yet. Gotta do that when we can transform between wolf and man at free will. I think there's a Metallica song about that. I'm saying that sarcastically. I know there's a Metallica song about that. so thematic. I used to play it when I was playing Lycan and Dota, which I never did in a proper fucking competitive match. Because, uh, I'm not very good Lycan. So, uh, instead of a hawk, instead of a band of a hawk, we are gonna get something a little different. It's not Griffith. That tower was so hard to utilize in the background. You climb it once to talk to a dude. We aren't calling guts either, we can skip this. Um, I would need to put my glasses on to make sure everything is okay with that fucking bird carrying me though. That is up to you though. PS2 trees. A. Alright. I should go buy more Berserk. But, uh... That requires me making the effort to go to the fucking comic shop. I'm hoping I don't have to do this more than once. For your sake and my sake. Okay. Turn off night vision. 
So the Baldwins are still trying their damn best. I think there's a few, there's a few less of them though. All right, we're approaching the bugs. Get ready. All right. Whoop. All righty. Locked up. Lock. Stay on target. I'm gonna get. get but, oh, yep, nailed it. And we are good. There used to be a lot more in the Wii version. Because, yeah, there used to be the 16 instead of a 12. But, thankfully, they toned down the number. Which, you know, I know it was tedious. I was fine with it. But then again, I like the, uh... I like the, uh, Triforce quest in Wind Waker. So that tells you everything about me. But then again, I'm, I'm someone who doesn't mind that stuff. Because I just like exploring anyway. The majority of the time, I... Yeah, no, thinking back to it, even then, when I was, well, you know, back in 2006, I'd taken the time to map out most of the ocean. Um, you know, I was just, you know, I was kid slash teenager then, so. Yeah. Wasn't really monotonous, but I like sailing. In-game. Fuck sailing in real life. Would have been a sea scout if I wanted to deal with that shit, and no fucking chance of that. Alrighty. So there should have been dialogue before that, but um, um, we talked to her while we listened in, and now she goes, "Oh, where'd that bug go?" Yeah, um, boob window. Yeah, no, regular power girl over here. Now, if we don't do this now, we miss out on it until after the water temple. Oh, let me. Yeah, that's right. That always fucking happens. Oh, damn it! I was just gonna back up to point something out. Funny how you can see the end of the water in that tunnel. Obviously, listen. No, that's wrong. But I got part of it. I was actually pretty close. Mm. A yeah, typically you want to do it in like you you want to feel your way through the song. Just get some some of the blue, listen to it back, then figure it out. That's right. I don't know why people ever found this like hard. It's not really. And I'm not really a musical person per se. You can play like a few songs on bass. I can play a tiny bit of guitar. Guess I've just got an ear for music. I've just not, you know, I never really bothered to learn properly. Oh, that looked weird. Something just fucking popped in or out. Also, the castle doesn't look great. <laughs> um, but yeah. No, I know, I know the irony of saying that while running a channel that's predomin predominantly music edits, but, yeah. I've just got an ear for what sounds good, I guess. Or, yeah, an ear for ruining otherwise good pieces of music. <laughs> Fishing Hole, we'll visit there eventually, because there's a bottle there. You know what, I don't think I'm going to get all the hearts. Actually, wait. Okay, because I'm thinking of the, uh, there's a little ball mini game, And I don't know how much of that I'm actually going to do. Because I think doing part of it, um... Oh yeah, we're going to search for Prince Rallis, by the way. Um, so yeah, that's how to get out of it. That's how to get out into Hyrule Field. Which we'll do after, because we got to go this way anyway. Wait, hold on. Hold up. I gotta go forward anyway, damn it. I was hoping just to uh, just see the normal map, but alas. Yeah, because there's bugs here anyway. I mean, it doesn't really matter because we can just teleport anyway, but yeah. So this is nice and frozen still. Um, you can come here pretty soon after. Yep. 
Um, yeah, you can get in there pretty soon after, but like, it's not much point, ever. Uh, we'll do this real quick. Hey, it's a little tutorial for the fight we're going to have to do soon. Fuck. I know I made the dumb joke about bark and bite um, a while ago. I think it was in the first part actually, but um, yeah, no, that the arms theme song is a really fucking solid one. Like that's the like that's the real win. It's nice to get someone from arms in because it's a genuinely fun game. It's pretty polished for what it is. Like the fact that they, I, I don't know if it, it's how it worked internally, but I know it's what everyone's bought. The fact that they took Wii Boxing and made a full game out of it is impressive. Because that was fun, despite being how limited it was. But, like, the, the real win, other than, you know, representation the game rightfully deserves, is the fact we get all that sick music in Smash Bros. Like, in all honesty, like, I'm, like, I'm saying like a lot, so apologies. And there's no like likes in this game, haha. -ha. Other than the Deku likes. But, um, yeah, no, like, the majority of my mates, from what I know, are actually pretty satisfied with who's in. There's not a lot, like, there's people, you know, there's characters we want. But I think everyone's pretty happy with the overall roster. Like, I'd like, well, I, I, you know, I've said it before, I'm not a huge Doom fan anyway. Never really played the games. Um, and 16's good, just not exactly what I want, but, um, <laughs> I'd want Doom Guy in, just for the sake of it. Plus it'd be just cool. And get everyone to shut the fuck up about only Japanese characters. Ah, oh, well, Banjo, but yeah. Um, but Dante getting in would be cool. Again, not even because I'm a big DMC guy, just because I think it would be genuinely cool. And Bayonetta's in, and... It's not like DMC gets any more raunchy than that. Plus, if we got to have Subhuman in, I'd love it. Because it'd make everyone so fucking mad. <laughs> Alright, so this is this. Ah, uh, we can always teleport up there anyway, so fuck it. Let's do this. Where does this lead again? Is this to the blocked... Yep. Yep. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, we're just teleporting up. Fuck this. I'm pretty sure there's a way up, but this is faster. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm considering... Why is my phone flashing again? What the fuck? That's really irritating. No, eBay Plus. Fuck off. You're not worth my while. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. There's a few in the field and castle town. Well, actually, yeah, there's only three more I can really get at this point. Spoiler, the last one, um, kind of out of my reach for the meantime. There's one in the lake. There's one in Castle Town. Well, yeah, what am I doing? I need to do this. I need to go downstream. Um, I don't even know what the fuck I was saying. Yeah. Thanks for distracting me, phone. Oh, great! Hit the uh, hit the mic cable. Fun. And dive, Wolfie, dive. Meh. So there's um there's the one in Castle Town. There's one in the lake. I missed apparently. I'm gonna get out just in case. And there's one more somewhere. Can't remember if it's in the field or not. I feel like it might be. Other than that, or it's the second one in Castle Town. Yeah, we have to go this way. Yeah, actually, like I know, I know it really was pretty arbitrary to have the sixteen, but it almost feels a little barren. Haha, <laughs> pardon the pun. <laughs> um, the fact that like I'm going this far, and there's not another bug to get in between. I, I can't remember how the other four were set up, but I mean, if I was designing it now, I'd make it so like there was one right here along this path and it was kind of like an interconnected, 
interconnected circuit almost. Where you were actually encouraged to like, you know. Well, there was a, like a racing line, if you will. I've seen old episodes of Top Gear, so, you know. <laughs> I'm using their vocab. But like a, you know, a critical path. Yeah, for getting it done with. <laughs> Because I like these sections, but it's more, I kind of just, I'm only rushing this because A, I want to get to the temple, and B, I want to get to the sacred grove. Because that's when a game really opens up. We'll see you later. Yep, thank you. Thank you. This is what I was waiting for. Really helpful, actually. Kind of annoying they did with the... Kind of annoying they don't give it to you in the first place, but yeah, understandable. It's the same pattern basically. I don't know if that's lazy or not. I don't know if it's identical, but it's pretty damn similar. So if that, um, if the guy I hit first had been too close to the wall, I would have hit him, ricocheted off, and then I would have had to get all three again. So good thing that didn't happen. Very good, yes. The sun shines upon this Lord of Cinder. Oh no, fucking... Oh no, I'm gonna talk Dark Souls help. I don't know who I prefer, Siegwood or Siegmeier. I mean, Sieg, Siegwood's the first. So, oh, sorry, Siegmeier's the first. Fuck, I can't believe I messed that up. So, you know. An attachment to that. I mean, the Onion Bro in DS2 is clearly the best. Finding his armor set throughout the whole game. <laughs> Alright, no, there's no others in Castletown. Guess it's gotta be in the lake. Huh. And the best part is because no one can see us, we can just fucking walk. Alright, there's one there. The last one doesn't count as two, does it? Because, spoiler, the last one's a mini boss you fight in the lake. Because this, this is this is the last part you have to do this for. I do wonder, like, did did Zant bother to twilight up the... Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Here's what I missed. Idiot. Should've got to start at the start. Hey, fucker. Try to dig. Y'all can't. Put some fucking, like, Anarchy Reigns music to make that hype for no reason. <laughs> yeah. And, and there's this one over here. Meaning, yeah, it's meant to prompt you over towards the other grass. If I recall. And if you get, it's... Oh, where is it? It's that wall, it's like that direction or that direction. Pretty sure it's that wall where any old version. Maybe you can. Oh, that looks weird. Oh, yeah, I always like this part because you can actually run on it. Oh, is that intended? Hold on, let's try to get it again. It's like. It's like that time I heard about, like, PewDiePie getting the glitch um, by pure accident where you just free Griggs in the um, lower on Tedberg by pure chance. We well, don't even need the key, the game just lets you open the door. Well, that was a bit... That was a bit sudden. I'm not even a big PewDiePie fan. I was probably in the right demographic, but it just never clicked. Maybe for good reason. But maybe, maybe it's good it never clicked. Given certain developments. But, yeah. Ugh. Here we go. Come on, dog. But yeah, now that was weird that... Whatever the hell that was, how I was running along the water. But yeah, you used to be able to clip out of the map over in that wall. Um, watch out the claw shot, you could like phase into the wall by swimming, um, or you know, doing the whole moving while aiming. I guess what you should do fight a Metroid Prime enemy. <laughs> This thing is gross, though, and in a good way. Wouldn't fit in the aesthetic of Bloodborne, of course, but yeah. I 
I still like it though, design wise. Oh fuck. Oh, there we go. It's a really creepy design. That does this little. It gets a little upset, so it does this shit. It'll go from flying pattern, I believe it's three times. Call it a hunch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three times. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What you got? What you got? You got that, you got that. That's a good one, that's a good one. I wonder if Elden Ring's gonna have swimming. <laughs> Weird thought, but it just occurred to me. Because, yeah, it'd be cool. Like, Sekiro, in a way, was almost a tech demo of Elden Ring. It's even better how they've actually put multiplayer in. Alright, here's the fun part. The reason I was just quiet was I hope to God, because I thought of it, and that's why I gave, you know, there was some dead air, that I was going to overlay the uh, Killer Instinct uh, announcer right there for the Ultra Combo. If I didn't, holy shit, I'm lazy. Because I'm... Yeah, no, 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 I've got the sound clips. Someone was nice enough to upload all of them to YouTube. I really need to get back into trying to get all the sound files out of that game, though. I'd love to have all the little pieces of music like I do the Doom 2016 soundtrack. I mean, well, I'm working through that. Problem is, I'm not very motivated because I I wish I loved the soundtrack more. But yeah, that's the one thing. Like again, I don't know the whole Mick Gordon situation, but I would like to think there's some underlying thing where maybe someone was m forced to make a PR statement about how it was Mick's fault. It's almost like he might be under NDA. But nah. Yeah, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But still. Anyway, talking about this game, <laughs> it's a giant snake. talking about Doom one more time, some power metal or like just fresh metal would have been nice, but I get it. They wanted him to keep up the same music. But anyway, Snake again, Dark Power, Lake Hylia, etc, etc. The Forbidden Power. So a few shadow again. Oh, we get this nice cutscene. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going to split this up for sure, because this is an hour 13, uh, or, yeah, hour 14 now for me, on the recording time. So, I'm definitely splitting it up here. This is cool, though. Again, because I'm not really a Zelda lore person, or a lore person in general, um... Yeah, I never considered the ramifications of what this is implying, but... You know. The fact that this is directly correlating to, um... To Ocarina, supposedly. <laughs> but then again, this is... Yeah, I was playing this during the time period where it's like, Oh yeah, I just kind of think the Zelda's are very separate entities. Because, you know, I started at Wind Waker. So I think that tells you everything about my, uh, you know, my view on the Zelda lore. Oh, Pillar Men. <laughs> Menacing. It's nice they made that, that an alt color in Smash, uh, in Smash Bros. Here's that evil shit. <gasps> it was Link all along. Oh, then the light spirits are like, how about no? Don't know why there's only three of them right there. Maybe the, maybe the fourth one's obscured. 
It's wearing the, uh, the Ring of Fog. <laughs> nice. The uh, mouth textures are sure something too. <laughs> I mean, again, like, I was, well, roughly half my age when I played this the first time. But, um, I remember hearing people, kids, were freaked out by this. I was never really freaked out by it myself. But, um, I mean, I guess I can get it, but I think it's that scary, given the other subject matter. This also feels very Evangelion for some reason. But yeah. No, I can understand finding this creepy. I just don't think it's that scary. No, exis ex <laughs> I'm gonna give up. That dread. That's always pervasive. Hanging over you. That's up. Existential. There we go. We did it. Alright, well. I'm definitely gonna stop it here, I think. Because this has been long enough. And this next... And there's no point protracting it. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to want to do. Um, hold on, sorry, wait, I'm thinking. Yes, I think I'm going to cut. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, we'll cut it here, I think. Bugger it. We'll end on this. The most exhilarating thing possible. Alright, let's see what we get. 